Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. Alright, so uh, a few things. I tried to do some grinding for some uh, uh, things off-screen, skill books and stuff like that, and it wasn't terribly successful. Um, the drop rates are pretty low for some things, so... There's a number of things that I think that we're going to get to the end of the game, and I'm just not going to have. Um, now, that said, there is something that I missed, um, which, good lord, is there a lot of things to miss in this game. Um, if we change the time, it is too early. So we need it between 3 and 6 a.m. So let's uh, change the time. And, uh, not over here, but there are some goodies. Also, I should probably come up here and get the goodies that are up here. There we go. I meant to get them before, but... Alright, so over here there is a shop that I have not been to. All right. Uh, I, I did come here uh, already, but I meant that uh, um, I had not been to before. I did not know about it. Um, I don't think they ha I don't think there were any we No, actually, no. I think I, uh, all of these weapons uh, are ones that I didn't have. Now that I think about it. Um. But uh, the Letios Helms Rex Helm L. I think maybe it was a Rex Helm. It was one of these. Um. I think the uh, Rex chest, or the Rex chest L, something like that. The Ledios arms, one of these other Rex arms, something like that. Um, so all throughout there, there are things that uh, um, I did not have. Now there aren't, a f there isn't a full set of Ledios equipment here. Uh, I did already get that uh, final cross book. Uh, I think I got that as a drop or something. Um, I believe the uh, Ledios Greaves and the Rex Greaves L are the ones that I didn't have here. Um, that did actually, like, drop my cash down to, like, 400k or less, uh, but then I went and sold duplicate stuff and, uh, other things, and, uh, I'm up to, uh, 1.9, uh, million. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a lot. You're too much trouble. Don't bother coming back. Wow, rude. Um, so, that has given us, uh, new appearances. Uh, that gets us the uh, Titan Type 3 helmet. So we could uh, get green there. Titan Type 3 helmet uh, for Ricky, which is, of course, spiky. Titan Type 3 for Sharla, with the uh, scope thingy. Titan Type 3 for uh, Shulk, which looks like a bug is hugging his head. I don't know. Titan Type 3 for uh, Melia, which is just a little crown. Uh, of course, nothing for uh, Fiora. And Titan Type 3 for Rhine, which... Uh, a, a headband or something? I don't know. No, that's not it. We also got Orion Legacy 2. So that is the... Uh, Helmet for Dunban. Um, it really looks like he's either wearing a sink on his head or uh, uh, a weird mechanical bird foot. I don't know. Uh, so I've I've had her in Orion Legacy One. Orion Legacy Two is uh, black hair and gold. I kind of like that. You know what? Let's go with that for a bit. Let's see, Orion Legacy 2. There we go. Um, yep. Yeah, looks like he's trying to be Master Gundam. Um, oh, there's Orion Legacy 2. There we go. Um, yeah, I mean, it's red. Um, there's Orion Legacy 2. 
There we go. And that's for uh, Ryan. All right, so that's that. Uh, we got uh, Ryan Legacy 2 armor. We do not have the Titan 3 armor. That, I think, is like a drop. Ryan Legacy uh, 2 armor for Ricky. Ryan Legacy 2 armor for uh, Charla, which seems very not armor, not armory. <laughs> Her back is fully exposed. Her torso and chest are fully exposed. I mean, at least it's gold. Ryan Legacy 2 armor there. Seems like something that, uh, like, heartless armor or something like that for... Uh, for Shulk there. I don't know. Uh, Ryan likes the armor 2 for Melia. It's like it's a spacesuit or something. I don't know. Uh, there's a Ryan Legacy 2. There we go, which is gigantic. Alright. Um, for Gauntlets, which I can't really see. Titan Type 3. Titan Type 3, which is uh, more spikes. Titan Type 3, which uh, is... I don't know. I don't know how you'd describe that, but... <laughs> Red gauntlets with uh, glowy... Gl blue glowy stuff. Uh, blue gauntlets for Melia. And uh, gigantic blue gauntlets, which... It's very appropriate that he started punching the air uh, when that happened. Um, and then Orion Legacy 2 uh, Gauntlets, which, uh, I can't really see because of his long sleep shirt. And that is uh, for Ricky. More, uh, gold bracers, sleeves, something like that. See, you got those big spiky things. I feel like that would just be annoying. I, I feel like that would, you know, like you sit down and, oh, jeez, I just ruined another couch kind of thing, you know? Um, and, and what is with <laughs> around her wrists there? Oh, uh, that's good. All right, so that is the Orion Legacy uh, Gauntlets. All right, the Orion Legacy 2 Leggings. Um, I, I don't, like, a giant pretzel on his back, I guess. More gold leggings. See, again, you can't even sit down in that. I mean, I guess maybe they turn or something? I don't know, but... Uh, bright red shorts with, um, a tail. And that is, uh, Ryan's. Okay. And then Boots. We got the uh, Titan Type 3. Big, uh, gold and blue. Uh, golden boots for uh, Dunban. Right, no boots for, uh, Ricky. Um, that is not the right ones there. Um... Golden high-heeled boots for uh, Sharla. See, those those boots look like they would be really stompy. I don't know. Also, they're very, very spiky at the front. Uh, blue boots for Melia. And a Ryan Legacy uh, boots for uh, Ryan. All right, so is that it? Did I not look at that? All right, what did I what did I miss? There's your ride in Legacy like Two, very golden again. Um, more spiky bits, which again, man. You know, imagine just, like, I mean, I, I guess you don't need to tie your shoes like that, but uh, you'd have a hard time 
bending over to pick something up, I think. All right, those are uh, big and red. All right, so uh, those are all of the uh, appearances that we got. I don't think that the uh, Ledios stuff is uh, really particularly good in comparison to other things that we have. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so uh, those are the new... Um, those are the new uh, appearances that we got. Uh, Arts-wise, uh, Backslash and a Shadow Stitch I now have available. Um, I also got... Um, I got one for... I got Sneaky for uh, Ricky, which I don't have equipped right now. And I think I got something else for someone else as well, and I don't remember who that was. I did try to do some fighting, but I, I just was not getting the stuff that I wanted. Um, so that's kind of a pain. Um, we will, I think, go off to do some more fighting now, though. Um, I, I still have it on casual mode right now, partly because it just made it easier to uh, deal with some of the things. I was grinding against Final Marcus, Trying to get the um, <laughs> that's nice. trying to get the uh, um, uh, the rare item drop that he has, and uh, or one of them. I mean, I was trying to get multiple items from him uh, that I wanted, uh, but I did not. So I think that what we're gonna do is uh, I'll go fight the dragon over here. Make it daytime. Then we'll go get the fight the mammoth, and that will allow us to wrap up the uh, Monado quest. That'll also officially finish uh, Colony 6. I will need to talk to some people in town in order to uh, get some... Um, Like, get, get some final uh, connections between people, but that's about it. All right, Demon King Dragonia. I have no idea what this thing will do. Nice double attack. Well, let me go ahead and get these two up, and... Come back here. Come back. Where, where, where are you going? Where are you going? All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, electric gut buster tantrum. It's a lot of damage there. And now. Look at the damage from that. Okay, uh, I can't do anything else that's going to increase the chain. Oh, actually, no, that changed the color, so... Um... Go with freeze. And it's chain times max. Oh, yeah. 343,000 damage. That's pretty good. Oh, hey. Chain attack time. Yeah, I knocked you over. Well, let's go ahead and extend that. Uh, I don't have any green, so... Let's go with, uh... Let's get it to purple. Alright, 52,000. This is obviously not as, um... Yep, there we go. It's dead. It's not as difficult as it would have otherwise been because uh, it's still on casual mode. All right, 20,000 monies, 30,000 XPs. You eliminated the threat of the formidable enemy that had appeared by the Aether Planter and was just sitting there, just waiting for us. I'm never gonna give up. The attack is over, so everything should be back to normal now. Achievement good and fixed. Got a lot of XP there. 
50,000 XP there. Did not get a gold chest out of it, which sucks. Letios plate, Gracie Quises, Demonic Everflame. All right, hold on a second. I want to see if the uh, Demon King Dragonia has um, something that, like, I might want to try to go for the uh, the gold chest. There's some other enemies that uh, various uh, facts and stuff like that have basically been like, uh, if you don't get these specific items, reload and fight it again. I'm kind of like, eh. All right, let's see. Um... Oh, no, it's guaranteed to drop silver. Okay. That's okay. Um, so we could have gotten some, uh, like, an Atomic Driver, Endless Rifle, Wyvern Cutlass, or Sunstaff if uh, Ricky yoinked from it, but um, that doesn't really matter. Uh, do do do. Which is basically the same thing that we could get out of the silver, but they all had they would have three slots in the uh, um, the steel, and they'll have two slots now. Um, but I think I did need the uh, Letios plate, so I guess that's good. Uh, it's the only enemy known to drop slotted Letios arms. Gauntlets. That's fine. That's I don't care. That's fine. Whatever. Take that. Did we get a, a new appearance? No. Right. It's a Titan. No. It's something. But uh, we doubt. We now do have a slotted Ledios plate, uh, which is apparently the uh, best slotted piece of armor in the game. Not too concerned about that, though. All right. That is uh, taken care of. Let's go ahead and grab these. I don't know if anything really changes in town. I don't know if anyone's gonna say anything. Uh, there was something about. Uh, have I well. shopped at you? Probably. Um, apparently, townspeople will say things uh, about uh, that, that, or drop hints about that shop, if not say it outright. Um, it's. Uh, I'm glad that I just found it on the fact instead. <laughs> All right, let's see if you have anything to say now. All right. Nope. All right. Population 150, completion 100 percent. All right. And it's officially uh, done. Um, we do need to talk to people, but I'm going to hold off on that. Let's see about getting the uh, the mammoth. And then we can get the uh, other thing. Uh, I think it's right outside here. Did we get a... Um crystal from that? No, I didn't. Interesting. There we go. Alright, so... 
Uh, Lakelet Mammoth. It is level 96. Let's go. There we go. Alright. Look, Jet Buster. Ah, I was hoping for uh, more levels. Oh well. We're getting an affinity, and that is uh, important. Oh, well, I guess I didn't get to do another uh, chain attack. Got a Comet Biter from uh, stealing it. Only got a silver chest, not a gold chest. Mammoth Horn, Rare Mammoth Crystals. Mm. Uh, doo -doo -doo. What do we get out of those uh, Rare Mammoth Crystals? Uh, Pierce Resist and Slow. Yeah. Yeah. Not a big deal. I don't know if there were any other high level enemies right out here that I needed to avoid. Because if there are, I should probably uh, fight them. Is that a mammoth over there? I'm not sure. Let's go find out. Yeah, that's the same thing. Follow my lead. You dare challenge Hirobon? Don't let a single one escape. Every There we go. Let's do a chain attack. Electric gut buster. I'm on it. Oh, come on. I don't know why it does not like letting me uh, do uh, more. Okay. Let's do this. Um, extend it. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Well, I killed it before I got a chance to do all of those. 109,000 damage. Well, we didn't get a gold chest, but uh, that's okay. What do we get? Uh, Gracial Helm and a Rex chest. Anything? No. All right. Skill trees. Did we, uh... Oh, no. All right. Melia is completely uh, filled out. All right. So, Rejection of Evil. A battle party, party uh, greatly reduces the effects of spike attacks. Uh, I should probably... Oh, wow. Yeah, you have a lot of things. Um... We'll uh, do stuff with that later. All right. Area map. Back to Colony 6. I'll take those. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked that people do not have, like, different, uh, schedules on rainy days and stuff. Alright, this is the way down. Alright, Vanilla. Hello. I have thingies for you. 
I see you've gathered the necessary materials. I will get to work immediately. I have finished. The Monado Dogma offers a higher critical rate hit rate. The thin materials used increase the blade output. The high critical rate hit rate comes at the cost of lower defense. I hope this weapon gives you the strength and power to succeed. Quest completed! And Monado Dogma, we get to 12,000 XP. Your efforts uh, combined with the technology of the Machina have created a new replica Monado. I'll take that. Right, some extra XPs. Alright, so... Yeah, I mean, it's uh, already maxed out auto attack uh, max, and the auto attack min is pretty high as well. Um, 25 physical defense, not that big a deal. Block rate, meh. Uh, I kind of like the 25% uh, crit rate. On the other hand, it only has uh, two slots. Which does suck. I'll have to think about that. I mean, the replica Monado is uh, just kind of all around good, so is is kind of nice. I mean, I might be a little bit high level to really get that much out of uh, it in some ways. Yeah. I don't know. All right, so we have supplies for Satoru. Uh, Satoru, uh, give goods to a Scarlin in a Satoru Marsh. Do I have those? Some of the evacuated high anti are holed up in Satoru Marsh. They are running dangerously low on uh, food. Find them some food to replenish their reserves. Yeah, I think I got that. There's probably going to be more to it than that, but uh, we'll see. And then I need to go defeat 10 Grove Quad Wings in Satoru Marsh. So I guess that's where we're going next. Let's go ahead and mark that one, since we'll go uh, fight them uh, first. But that will be next time. See you then, everyone.